Delusional thinking occurs when a person holds a firm belief despite evidence to the contrary or sensible arguments. Narcissists frequently deceive themselves in order to justify their inflated self-esteem. They think they're better than everyone else. I'm going to share 10 reasons why narcissists think their emotions are true. 10. Narcissists believe their emotions are real because of paranoia. Paranoia might develop if you believe the universe revolves around you. Sometimes, narcissists used to assume that the government was listening to them through television. When they wanted to chat quietly, they would turn it off. They never considered that governments have more important things to do than listen to them while they watch Coronation Street on TV in their living room. Narcissists feel that the rest of the world thinks of them as important as they think of themselves. And their grandiose thinking leads them to believe that governments, spies, cops, and other authorities are interested in what they're doing to keep an eye on them for information. 9. Because narcissists think that nothing is their fault. Narcissists mislead themselves into believing that they are completely blameless. If they make a mistake, they may blame loved ones. Instead, you can kick and bang inanimate objects, signaling that they're to blame. Anything to avoid taking responsibility. They might drop something on the floor and blame it on you because you're in the same room with them. Or they misplace their car keys and blame it on others. The pressure of not taking blame causes some narcissists to suffer. Holding your hands up and admitting mistakes is often simpler. However, narcissists regard this as a flaw. Instead, they cling to the assumption that it couldn't be them, that it must be someone else. They cause conflict, worry, and sorrow for themselves and others. 8. Narcissists believe their own lies. Narcissists have complete trust in their own ideas and they are convinced of their own lies as normal. Individuals are of basic facts. The sky is blue, the grass is green. In reality, narcissists believe their own falsehoods, which is one of the reasons they are convincing. For certain very charismatic narcissists, blind self-belief can spread quickly. That's because our brains are wired to detect only the most obvious lies. And because many narcissists truly believe their own lies, they may be extremely convincing. Their distorted beliefs have become real to them, so real that they appear to be true. 7. Unable to understand a real person's feelings If they are able to enter a love connection, narcissists may find it difficult to recognize and accept their partner as a real person with real feelings. They will tend to see individuals as something they can control and manage. The bottom line of being in a relationship with total narcissists is that your views, emotions, and priorities are constantly invalidated. Narcissist simply believes you exist just to serve the narcissist's wants and pleasure. 6. Because of Narcissistic Truth Distortion Truth manipulation is common among narcissists and they do so in a variety of ways. They occasionally exaggerate the truth. Other times, they downplay the seriousness of their errors. Oftentimes, they distort the truth to further their own goals. The only constant in the life of a narcissist is their disregard for reality. Simply put, truth distortion is lying. However, Narcissists and other disordered people elevate lying to a near art form. They do it in a variety of strange and unusual ways. Of course, narcissists deceive others. They deceive themselves as well. True denial is a basic unconscious but effective resistance against severe suffering. They can easily fall into the trap of lying when the truth would be more beneficial. 5. Because you accompany them to their act. If it weren't for the accomplices, there would be no such thing as narcissistic abuse. These are the people that stand by and watch as someone else is punished. 
they could act and demand an end to the situation. They are in a position to do so. The narcissist is reliant to these weak-willed companions. It only takes one or two brave folks to say, no, this is not okay. If there are only two of you, abusing someone isn't much fun. There is no limit to the amount of drama that can be created when there is a crowd. That way, the narcissist may pull a lot more threads. It wouldn't be worth it to start a full hate campaign if the abuser and her target were the only ones involved. As a result, the narcissist tries to convince others to turn on the target. Even more damaging than the primary cause of abuse is the shared betrayal that comes from the accomplice's camp. As the struggle increases, targets, especially if it occurs at work or in a social setting, watch as the individuals they believe were their friends slink away. Taking no action to protect someone from harm does not absolve you of responsibility. You, on the other hand, become an active participant. 4. Narcissists think that they own you. They believe they own you. Therefore, whatever you do is with their permission, and you will have to do anything they say. When you make a mistake, though, you are solely responsible. They believe you are their property and that they have complete control over you. Narcissists are incapable of displaying emotion in others, or if they do, it is all a fake. They want all of your emotional expression to be reserved for them. It's how they know you're completely dedicated to them. That's why they'll show and tell you everything. You must be their ears, and you must listen to what they say. So, be on the lookout for this before you get dragged into their unhappiness, which happens all too often. 3. Because they feel good about themselves Narcissists appear to think greatly of themselves and have exaggerated perceptions of how helpful and compassionate they are. They seem to believe that they can make the world a better place, but they also appear to be concerned about their own personal power. Even if they won't admit it, a narcissist is someone who has an unrealistic view of their own intelligence, power, position, and other attributes. Narcissists are charismatic, outgoing, overconfident, and vain. They are people who believe they are superior to others. However, despite the fact that narcissists appear to be quite confident and content with themselves, some psychiatrists believe they may not feel as good about themselves as they appear. 2. Because they fit the facts to their feelings. Most people will change their feelings to be more suitable if what their eyes and ears are telling them does not match up with what their feelings are telling them. That is not something a narcissist does. They adjust reality to meet their feelings when what they see and hear, in other words, when reality does not match what their feelings are telling them. Alternatively, they dismiss it totally. I feel it. Therefore, it is true. The narcissist believes, and anything that contradicts this belief is disregarded, dismissed, or denied. As a result, the narcissist is almost always in denial, attempting to safeguard all of their false perceptions and defend all of their false assertions. They will dig their heels in even more if the evidence to the contrary is strong. As a result, the misunderstanding becomes even more entrenched in their minds. 1. Narcissists consider their emotions as facts. Narcissists consider their emotions to be facts. However, just so does not fully describe the seriousness of the situation. It's a major sight problem that usually colors the way they see things. Feelings aren't the same as facts. They can be illogical and unreasonable. And they often are. That's why it's not a good idea to make major decisions when we're upset, because we won't be able to think properly or see the big picture until we've calmed down. The majority of us are aware of this and are capable of managing our emotions and self-control. The issue arises because, as previously said, 
narcissists regard their feelings to be facts. This is the only perception they have of themselves. What they feel takes precedence over what they see and hear. So, in our earlier scenario, the narcissist believes the rock was dropped by a plane. It makes little difference whether the narcissist saw a plane or not. It doesn't matter that they didn't see, because they believe one must have been there. Make sure you can connect the dots when a narcissist tells you about his or her life. Is there any supporting proof to back up what he or she said? Take a look at their surroundings. Do you have personal experiences you'd like to share? What topics do you want us to cover in future videos? Tell us in the comments below.